could we be getting a surprise return tonight at Monday Night Raw? Now, I was going to put this in my Edge Randy Orton Greatest Wrestling Match uh, Ever video earlier, and I kind of spoke about it at the start, but the more I think about it, I think it deserves a separate video. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that now. Now, uh, obviously, Edge is injured. He is out for the foreseeable future. He lost last night to Randy Orton at the Greatest Wrestling Match Ever, suffered a torn, torn triceps, Going to be out for roughly eight months, they would say. Could be longer, could be shorter. You never know with these things. But uh, a lot of people are thinking, well, if Edge is out, we're not going to have Edge and Orton 3. What happens to uh, what happens to Randy Orton next? Now, some people have said maybe he uh, challenges Drew McIntyre for the WWE Championship. That would certainly be a feud I'd like to see. I worry about the winner on that one, though, because what do you do? Drew McIntyre, for me, shouldn't be dropping the WWE Championship anytime soon. But Randy Orton, he just won what you're calling is the greatest wrestling match ever. <laughs> I mean, if he loses the next match, I mean, what momentum does he have? And I know at this point, Randy Orton is bulletproof. It doesn't matter who he does jobs to. He can do whatever he wants. He's still Randy Orton. Uh, and that is true. That is true. But you've got some stock back in Randy Orton at the moment. People are talking about Randy Orton at the moment. His character is arguably hotter than it's been for a long time. Uh, he just kicked a WWE Hall of Famer in the head and then told him to go home to his wife and kids and tell them that Uncle Randy said hi. You know, savage Randy Orton is back. So, um, yes, he is almost hyped up for a WWE Championship opportunity, but I don't know if that would be the best thing, because I feel like that would be a bit of a, a bit of a Bray Wyatt, Seth Rollins situation where, you know, you want to see both guys win. So seeing one of them lose kind of hurts them. I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting off a point. Anyway, my point was that what happens to Randy Orton next? What does Randy Orton do? Now, I'm going to be speculating a little bit here, so bear with me. Uh, but a great uh, Twitter account, WrestleVote, if you haven't followed them on Twitter, go and follow them on social media. They are great. Uh, for insider scoops, spoilers, all of that stuff, information regarding behind the scenes, their track record of getting things right is as close to perfect as you're going to find on social media. Honestly, they are phenomenal. Now, earlier today, they um, tweeted out an emoji of uh, the two eyes sort of looking shocked, uh, implying, you know, big news, big things are happening. They just heard something very, very surprising. Uh, and they followed this up with a tweet that said, quote, I really don't want to spoil the news for everyone, so I'm not. However, I got a phone call earlier with info that Raw will feature something unexpected, which everyone, which I think everyone will like, dot, 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 sometimes scars never heal. Now, that last line is very, very, very important there. Scars never heal. Now, obviously, a lot of people... Uh, initially would look at those things going, oh, it's just a tease, just a tease, all that sort of stuff. Scars never heal. Where does that uh, phrase sound familiar from? A lot of people going, scars never heal, that, that rings a bell, that rings a bell. Well, it should, because scars never heal is a famous phrase from the chorus of none other than, I, I was almost going to say WWE Hall of Famer there, but it's not, it's a crime that he's not. It's Christian, the Christian. Uh, in his entrance theme, it says scars never heal. Now, Christian, of course, is retired, uh, a bit like his uh, his best friend Edge. Due to medical grounds, he su sustained several concussions towards the end of his career, and he was ultimately uh, told he was never going to be cleared to medically compete in the WWE ring again. He'd had some major uh, post-concussion syndrome and decided to call it a day, along with uh, the WWE doctors deciding for him to call it a day. So he decided that he was out of the ring, and he was never going to compete again. Now, whenever he's been asked about making a return to the ring, he's basically said, you know, it's never on the cards. It's it's just not going to happen. I've been told I'm never going to be cleared. The WWE have told me I'm never going to be cleared. I, you know, had a lot of concussion problems. It's not going to happen. Um, but how many times have we heard that now? I've been told I'm not going to be cleared. It's never going to happen. I think of Daniel Bryan. You know, I've been told that it's never going to happen. He just competed in the match of the week, arguably, on Friday Night Smackdown in an Intercontinental Championship match. I've been told it's not going to happen. Uh, that would be his best friend, Edge, who returned at the Royal Rumble this year. He competed at WrestleMania this year. Last night, he competed in the greatest wrestling match ever. Uh, he's out for a while now, but he was told it was never going to happen. So some people are looking at that tweet by WrestleVotes and saying, oh my gosh, does that mean Christian is going to be coming back for just one more match or however many matches it will be? Um, 
Possibly, possibly. I think that line is very telling from WrestleVotes. Now, I haven't spoken to them. I don't know any insider information. I'm just speculating here. Uh, but we mentioned earlier on what happens with Randy Orton next. What can Randy Orton do next? He just defeated Edge. Edge is out for a while. We're not going to see Edge versus Orton 3 for any time soon. He could face Drew McIntyre, but I'm not sure if the Drew McIntyre-Bobby Lashley feud is finished just yet. So what about uh, what about Christian? Now, Edge just got kicked in the head in storyline last night uh, and now is injured. They can play up that, saying Edge isn't going to return anytime soon. He got kicked to the head. His neck is all messed up and he's at home recovering with his wife and kids. And Uncle Randy told him to say hi. Who should come and get revenge? That would be Christian. We've seen Christian on WWE TV recently as well. We saw Christian last Monday night on the Peep Show. He had a phenomenal segment with Edge, uh, spoke some tough love to him, spoke about trying to find himself, having the greatest wrestling match ever. Uh, I thought his promo work in there was great. Uh, we then saw him on the Backlash kickoff show in a promo, uh, a backstage interview segment with Ric Flair. Ric Flair had picked Randy Orton to win and uh, Christian had picked Edge to win. Uh, and I thought the interaction there between Ric Flair and Christian was great. And I thought the um, promo that Christian cut opposite Ric Flair, who is the best promo of all time, um, was actually phenomenal as well. So it's, I, I think Christian's work recently has been great. We've also seen him on WWE Backstage on FS1, and he does a great job on there. Uh, but he never got the ending or the storybook ending that all of us fans, and I'm sure him himself, would have liked in WWE. Uh, and one of his best opponents in WWE, in my opinion, was Randy Orton. You think back to that 2011 uh, feud with Randy Orton, Christian had just won the World Heavyweight Championship for the first time at Extreme Rules. And then a couple of nights prior against uh, Randy Orton on SmackDown, he defends the title and loses it. His title reign is all of, what, two days, something like that. Now, he would win it back at Money in the Bank later on that year via disqualification after Randy Orton hit him with a low blow and per a pre-match stipulation. If you got kicked, if you got kicked in the nuts, if you got disqualified, he would lose the title. Uh, so Christian was the champion for the summer briefly. Um, which again was was fun and he had to hold one more match and he was this slimy heel and he was given the ball a little bit, wasn't given the ball fully, but he was given the ball a little bit to run as a world champion. However, he would eventually lose to uh, Randy Orton once again uh, and they had a phenomenal match. Uh, the first match actually on SmackDown where he lost the title was great. A really good match. Go back and watch that one. That was really fun to watch apart from the finish, obviously, when he lost. But the finish itself was great. Jumps in the corner, springs back, hits him with an RKO midair. It was great. Um, they did the same sort of finish at SummerSlam. Goes in the corner, springs back, RKO, except this time it was onto steel stairs because it was a no-holds-barred match, I believe. They even had Edge come out prior to that match. This was just after Edge retired as well. So Christian got this main event sort of push just after Edge retired. So it was interesting there. Um, so Randy Orton was one of uh, Christian's best opponents, no doubt. And like I said, he never got that ending. His last match, I believe, on WWE TV was a number one contenders match for the Intercontinental title on Raw. Might have been a fatal four-way or fatal five-way, but he got a concussion, I think, from Sheamus in that match. Um, never got the Intercontinental Championship match and never got another one. That was it. He was done. And that was in 2014, I think. So we haven't seen Christian since uh, in the ring, and he's been retired ever since. And to be honest, we never really got the big announcement that Christian was retired. It was kind of just sort of loosely reported on all of the uh, on the dirt sheets. And Christian then sort of came out a little bit while later and said that he was retired. It was all very murky. It was all very murky and not really spoken about that much. So... If Christian comes back and has a feud with Randy Orton, look, it, it, it might just be for one more match. They might just say, look, we'll do one match. You can have that as your retirement match and that could be said and done. And it would certainly replace Edge as that star power needed on the roster right now. I don't think they would do the match at Extreme Rules, but you can certainly build to a match at SummerSlam, couldn't you? Having Edge, sorry, Edge, having Christian return at SummerSlam against Randy Orton um, could be a great final send-off for Christian. Get the send-off that he wants. And then finally, after that match next year, we can finally get this man into the Hall of Fame. How long is it going to take to get Christian in the Hall of Fame? I have no idea. But it would also build up Randy Orton. Imagine Randy Orton not only puts out Edge, but puts out Christian with two punt kicks um, in 2020. And this builds up the return for Edge next year to have the final showdown in a stadium or in an arena, at least, against Randy Orton. Not only is he getting redemption for his loss at Backlash, not only is he getting redemption for his wife, for his kids, but he's also getting redemption for his best friend who was retired by Randy Orton. The story's there. The story's there and it's easy to write. Um, 
Now, of course, I could be completely wrong here. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. I think it's a very subtle hint by WrestleVotes. We might see something completely different and I'll put this video up and I might look like a complete idiot tomorrow. If I do, be sure to let me know that I'm an idiot in the comment section below. I'd love to see it. Uh, but of course, it's just one man's opinion. What about your opinion? Do you think we could see Christian return to the WWE in ring anytime soon? Could he return tonight on Monday Night Raw to confront Randy Orton? Let me know in the comment section below, along with let me know if I'm an idiot. I mean, I would love to see it. Uh, be sure to like, share and subscribe to Wrestle News 365. You can do that by clicking the button right hand corner of the screen. If you wait a few seconds, there'll be a subscribe button for you along with another video to watch. Or you can just go to our channel, click subscribe there uh, and have a look at all the videos we've uploaded to YouTube. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms. That's at 365Wrestle at WrestleNews365 on Facebook or Instagram. Thank you very much for watching, listening, streaming or however you come across this video today. And I'll speak for you again very soon. Hey guys, thank you for watching, listening, streaming, or however you come across this video today. Be sure to click on the video on the right there to watch our next video, or click the bottom there to subscribe, or the bottom right-hand corner. Thank you very much, and I'll speak to you again very soon.